Yo, so this is kind of a different video for me. I am getting more powerlifting based clients. And so I am going to be showing them in this video and also just anyone who wants to improve their hip health, how I personally make sure that my hips are nice and well oiled to not have any pain during a squat. I've always had tight hips because I was a sprinter back in the day. I was a thrower back in the day and obviously I was sitting on my ass for eight to 16 hours a day. And so what I realized is that it's not usually hip tightness, it's hip weakness. And so shout out Eugene Teo. I think that's how you say his last name. He was kind of, he was kind of the person that showed me a different side of hip health, right? of making sure that your hips are strong rather making versus making sure that they're stretched out if that makes sense okay let's get into the video as you can see i'm obviously recording this in relation to where the video is how far along it is as well you can see here i'm kind of losing my balance so i show a an easier version of how to do this exercise, but this is kind of called banded high knees. You always try to make sure that your knee is 90 degrees and you try to keep your balance as best as you can. Obviously I'm having trouble keeping my balance because I still kind of have hip problems even to this day. And you really eventually want to start to hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds rather than just doing reps like I was doing near the end. I think my right foot's even worse. So with my left foot trying to balance, it's literally even worse. I can only do reps with my right leg. I can't, I can't hold it. So you can, I will probably move on 20 seconds and I'll show a different exercise because I got so upset that I wasn't able to actually hold the banded high knees that I'm showing you guys. Okay, this isn't bad. It's pretty good. So this is what I want everyone to eventually get to, all of my clients and you who's watching. Just being able to hold this for at least 10 to 15 seconds is always going to be more beneficial than doing reps so i get a kettlebell and i place it on the floor and what you really do is you just lift up your leg and move it kind of in a how do i describe this so you lift your leg up and then you move horizontally and then you lift your leg down so it's like you're drawing kind of a rectangle Obviously, you can't draw the bottom line of the rectangle. You're going to hit your ankle on the kettlebell. But you're drawing kind of an open box or an upside down box with your leg versus actually just doing an arcing formation. I noticed that when I do a more boxy, methodical way, I can actually feel my hips getting worked way more than just kind of going through the motions and arcing, having like an arcing path towards it. So I do this for a couple sets. I usually do this for like two sets. And then I do the isometric holds probably for one set. Because if I do it anything more than one set, I notice my hips start to get overworked. And then my squat feels super shaky. So you can see here I'm holding it. And I have something to support, which is way better. It's way easier for me to actually grab something and use it as support. Especially in my current state with my weaker hips. I think the more I do it, the better I'll get at balance. But balancing in that hip flexor exercise is more so how mobile your ankles are rather than how strong your hip flexors are. So I've sprained both of my ankles. I've sprained both of my... I think I've sprained both of my knees before as well and so my legs are just super unstable as is and so I need something to support my hips well I need something to grab onto to support my hips in this exercise but yeah that's about the video let me know if you guys have any questions this is what I do 
every single time I squat. But this was kind of only the hip side of it versus my the way I go about everything else. If you guys want, I will probably post a full squat warm-up guide that I do personally that's helped me squat 450 pounds at 210. That's helped me a lot, right? It's helped me so much with my squat. And that involves knee stuff, hip stuff, and just opening up your legs with a ass to grass elevated lunge. So those are things that help me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how I'm going to be able to stretch this video out to seven minutes because I only have four and a half minutes of footage, but we'll figure it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.